today's video we are talking all about data and how you can save time by doing it digitally so you have more free time to enjoy your life and not be stressed out. My name is Rachel from the Behavior Check-In. I'm a behavior coach in Florida, and we are talking about something that I know a lot of teachers struggle with, and this is data collection and data management. I know that when I first started off as a teacher, I didn't even know where to begin with data collection. It was so overwhelming, and I started off with papers here and binders here, and I just couldn't keep it concise, and then I'd have to go in later, and I'd have to graph it, and then of course we'd have to track things for Medicaid, and we'd have to make sure that things were secure and private and respective privacy and it was the biggest headache. I've tried different systems before. I've had different things from my district. We go to one site here, we go click on another site here and it's a lot. It's overwhelming, especially at the beginning of the year, especially if you're a new teacher, especially if you just want to have work-life balance. So I was super excited when I got the opportunity to collaborate with AbleSpace. This video is sponsored by AbleSpace and AbleSpace has all the things that you could ever want to streamline and just make it so much easier for your data collection. AbleSpace has a place where you can go ahead and track your students' data, you can track the sessions, you can track what specially designed instruction that you are doing, you can also graph the data so you can share that with parents, advocates, anyone who needs to see it, it's all in there, it's all secure, it's HIPAA secure, so it's got some amazing features. So I'm going to hop in and show you around AbleSpace so you can get the idea for yourself and I know if you get in there you're going to love it as much as I do. I don't promote things on this channel if I don't believe in them and I don't think that they will make you either happy in some way or make your life as a teacher easier. So I really do believe that you're going to find this program absolutely amazing. All right, so when you log into AbleSpace, this is the first thing you see. So over here, we have our calendar. You have your caseload, assessment, reports, billing, all of those things. So on this page over here, you can go ahead and schedule your different sessions or your students that you're working with, whichever ones you're giving that time to. And you can it's really easy. You just click on it. It's a lot like Google Calendar. And you can type in the student that you're working with. So we have Billy. We're going to do Billy's session, Billy's session, and we can schedule the time for it. So 8, 8.30, we can set if we repeat it or if we want to do it daily. If I check daily in there, I can add other students if I'm doing a group session or I can leave it as it is. And then, of course, you can come in here, you can add your students. So I'm adding Mr. Billy Smith and I can create the events. So it's in there, and then of course, if I need to add a student to the group, I always can, and then I have the option over here to bill. I can also come in and just take data from the session, so I can click on the take data session right here. This is the goal that I created for Billy, and then I can just go in and um, let's say he's got his 10 objects, he's got a label, then I can put all that information in tells me how many so I don't accidentally do too many. I like that. All right, he did it. I can indicate the prompting cues and that sort of thing in there as well. I have a place for notes. So I think that's really cool. And then we always have the option over here too where we can graph it. Um, so as we put in more, you get to see the graph, which is really neat that you can show to parents, um, print out, keep for your records. That's really awesome. One thing I really love over here too is we have the collaborator feature. So you can invite people, uh, other therapists or your assistants, that can go in there and they can take this data with you for the same student, which I think is really cool, just streamlines everything. You don't have to worry about things getting misplaced. And they have some other really cool things in here, like some materials, different PDFs that you can come in here for articulation. We have different things. These are mostly speech ones. They have some questions all of that and of course more things are being added and you have the opportunity to upload your own materials so if you want a therapist to have access to it or your assistant to have access to it then it's right there just at the click of a mouse i like that we have the billing feature over here so you can bill by student by session and of course any collaborator can do that we just come in here we have our students billy smith we pick the time that we worked with him 
and you can go ahead and do the billing. So you can also indicate in the student's strengths and needs. I think that's really cool. This helps make it a lot easier when you're doing the IEP. And of course, you can do their progress in here on what you've been collecting data on. We have the different reports. So you have attendance goals and individual sessions, which I think is really neat and just something that just makes things really easy. So it's super duper easy to put a goal in here. So if I go over to my caseload, I can see all of my students that I have here. Right now I have no other uh, collaborators, but we have Mr. Billy Smith right here. So we can go in here and we can add goals for him. So I can add, add another goal in here for him. And I'm just gonna put, gonna make it really simple. So I'm just going to add some sort of just goal for students. Then you can just save it just like that. And then you're ready to go in and just take data on that and you can do it however you want. All right, and that just makes it so easy. We can go in and just do whatever we want. We can add more, take our data for him. Then we can look at our graph and our graph is showing us how he's doing. And of course, if you ever get stuck on anything, they have all of these different options over here that you can practice. There's a lot of really great tutorials and they can show you how to go through everything, which I think is really cool. So if I want to go ahead and just do and that is data, I can just go in here, take data on his goals. And I can put my note in here. Student is still working on whatever you want to put in there, just so you have that anecdotal data. And then we can, of course, graph it and kind of see where the student is. We have all the dates down in the bottom, which I think is really cool. When you touch on it, it tells you exactly, exactly what the accuracy is. And of course, I like that we have this right over here as that percentage, which is really neat. If we want to go in and progress monitor, you can come in here under the progress tab. And then you can use all of these different assessments that are in here to go ahead and progress monitor the student. We can pick it over here by grade level, different types of assessment types, reading, math, all of those things. So they have all these different options of assessments you can do with the student and they're adding more as they go on. You can also add in your own, which I think is a really cool feature. So let's say we want to go ahead and do this. We can either assign it out with the therapist or we can go ahead and take it ourselves so we can have the student will read the questions to them and we can mark how they did the whole way through and record that which I think that's a really cool thing. And then it'll show us right there how they did on yes or no questions. We can retest at any time. We also can collect on strengths and needs. And these are the different things. So they have observational checklists and of course our, that we can go ahead and do. So we can go in and click take test. And of course the same like we did with the other one and just check through them. And we can put in any of our notes that we want to. And then it'll tell us that we are age appropriate learning skills, verbal instruction, pace of instruction, seating arrangement, really cool. And then it dates it. It's just, it's so easy. Like we don't have all the papers. I absolutely love that. We also have the community tab over here, which I think is really cool. So the community tab lets you be a part of a group. You can talk to people, you can share your ideas, um, different things that we can put in there. And it's just lots of really cool things. If you go into history, you can see everything that you did. I love that they logged this. In my state and in my county, they're really wanting us to make sure that we are logging all of our sessions and our time with fidelity so that we can show anybody any time or place and kind of have a succinct area and this does exactly that and at any point like i said adding a goal is super easy so i'm going to go ahead and show you how i add goals so you can just go up to goals 
write whatever goal that you want to do. Um, they have different things that you can change, like the prompting level, like how you want the student to do it. Um, how you, if you want to do like task analysis, rating scales, frequency, duration. This is amazing for some behavior data. Absolutely love this. Opportunity. And then of course our anecdotal. So these are all just, I literally am in love. Like this is so easy for teachers to go ahead and get started. It literally just took me like five minutes to go in and play around and I am totally in love with AbleSpace. And of course, let's go ahead and look at billing. So you can go into the billing by students. Of course, you can pick your size, go in there, and it'll tell all of the things that you worked on while you're in billing. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know a ton about billing because it's not something that I necessarily have to do, but I do know like our speech language path, or I do know that our speech language pathologists, occupational therapists, behavior therapists have to do these sorts of things. So I think that this would be a really cool feature for them. Um, you have the opportunity to copy it once you have everything in there if you need to do so and just makes it streamlined and easy. I love that you can log attendance in there too. So if you have someone who's not showing up, it's just an easy way to document it. So if you have to do any kind of um, services for missed time, you know exactly how much you need to do. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Make sure that I have the link below for AbleSpace in the description box. You want to go check that out using my code so that they know that I sent you. And I really hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions, of course, leave them below for me. I would be happy to answer them. And like always, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share so we can get this out and help other teachers and make their lives just a little bit easier. Thank you once again for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Just